back here in Tokyo as we get set for action. Game four, Japan against South Korea, the winner of this one, guaranteed to move on to round two. John Shabby Arrestas de Strada inside the Tokyo Dome, and this is the matchup that everybody has been waiting for. All right, oh, first game of Pool A play, first game of the tournament, it was Japan against China. Offensively, Team Japan didn't do all that much. Four runs on five hits. Were they tight? You expect them to be tight here. They were definitely tight. And that was another question I posed to their hitting coach down on the field before the game. He said he, he could just see it. And he talked to the players uh, the next day when they practiced. And uh, they said that they were a little excited about the first game, the first game from manager Hara. Uh, remember now, it's a new manager. It's not Sadahara old, the legend. And uh, I think they were uh, just a, a little wound up. And when you're wound up as a hitter, the worst thing to have is guys that are throwing little change ups and little slow pitches, which is what what uh, China brought to the table and they struggled. Take a look at the lineups for this one and for Team Japan. Ichiro Suzuki up top went 0 for 5 and the big hit in the win over China. Shuichi Murata, a two-run homer. Yeah, he was the only one that really kind of stayed back on Team China and, and uh, was able to, to pop that big home run on a tough pitch down and away. You see the flash bulbs, you heard the hand for Ichiro Suzuki. The 35 year old. And Ichiro hit 310 this past season in Seattle as he digs in, and we are ready to go. And the first pitch of the game is in there for a strike from Guang Hyun Kim. Here comes the Ichiro chant. Give it a second, and you'll hear the whole crowd. They yell out his name. That one ripped to right, and it'll drop in for a hit. Ichiro right there. But that might be the loudest first inning single applause that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it's the first inning, it's a single, and that's it. But that's how crazy they are for this rivalry, how crazy they are for Ichiro Suzuki getting back on track. Here is Nero Yuki Nakajima. The shortstop from Cebu. Kim delivers outside one and one. Left-hander Guang Hyung Kim, outstanding stuff. But that one ripped back up the middle and back-to-back -back singles to start it for Team Japan. Nakajima, 331 hitter this past year for Cebu. He's a young kid, and he reminds me of a guy that I played with, Kaz Matsui, before he went on to the Mets, and now with the Houston Astros, but same kind of body type, same potential. There's a left fielder now, Norichika Aoki. The left fielder went two for four against China, had two of their five hits. Up the middle and through. Here comes Ichiro. 
He'll score three straight singles, one to nothing, Japan. You think they're enjoying it inside the Tokyo Dome? his patented slider that's his best pitch fastball slider and I, I tell you what they came out relaxed I was telling you Boog, that they told me that one of the things they felt was they were tight and tense in the shoulders in fact their, their hitting coach came up to me and rubbed my shoulders he said I talked to them about their shoulders relax them and that's when you can really kind of swing the bat a little bit and we're seeing it from these guys so far. Wang Young Kim just 20 years old had a great year this past season in the Korean League 150 strikeouts and 162 innings he pitched in Beijing was brilliant two starts against Japan the papers today were calling Kim the Japan killer gave up just two runs in Beijing in 13 and the third innings here's Murata with the runners at first and second this crowd is juiced up here in the Tokyo Dome seats about fifty five thousand and it is pretty full well I mean to, to encapsulate it a little bit even further you had the 06 WBC and those the great rivalry then it's been built up now for three years since then Japan the defending champion and a couple of their key guys back here in each row and obviously Daisuke starting this is a big big game. No one to Murata right there for a strike. Shuichi Murata had the big hit in the third the other night, a two run homer against China. Beautiful swing. It was a breaking pitch. Looked like a changeup or a little splitter down and away. Kept his hands back, went down and got it. This kid is a professional hitter. 46 home runs last year. Uh, he's got legit power. This is, this is real power here you're seeing at the plate. Got him swinging, blew the fastball by him. Murata down on strikes one away. Well this is why they call him the Japan killer. He's no joke. He's only 20 years old but he's got big heart and a big fastball and a sharp hard slider. Again talking to Team Japan before the game what they're most cognizant of is that hard slider especially for the left handed hitters. They, the one coach compared it to back in the day. Uh, none other than the uh, Louisiana Lightning Ron Guidry that that type of a hard heavy slider. Well now it's Michihiro Olga Sawara the designated hitter one of the veterans on this team. And there is that slider missing down and away. Olga Sawara 36 home runs this past season for Yomiuri. He plays his home games in this stadium. One to nothing Japan on the Aoki RBI single to score Ichiro Suzuki. And now two and nothing. Well, Gasawara, as I mentioned before, to me, uh, all the years that I've followed him here, watched him here, he came on shortly after I retired from Japan, is to me the. Japanese version of Don Mattingly. He's a sweet swinging from the left side. Not a big guy. Very good defensively, even though he throws right hand. He's a right handed first baseman, but a left handed hitter. And he goes the other way very well with left handed pitching. Outside corner for a strike. And the count two and one. Daisuke Matsuzaka getting some early run support. Japan leading one to nothing. Ogasawara started game one at first base. He is the DH tonight. 
And that one fought off down two and two. Just, just, just so you know, that nice four seamer right there. This kid nice and loose, throws about right around 90. And when you can throw 90 and spot your fastball and then have that slider at around 86, 87, that's, uh, that's a good little combo. Two, two. Check swing, did he go? You bet, Ed Hickox rings him up. And there's two down. So the 20 year old left hander, Gwang Hyun Kim, has settled back down. Look at that. Nice job. Look at the spin on that slider. How well he gets on top. Watch him get on top. He fights it. There's a 20 year old kid right here showing a slider like a pick leaguer. And he gets a really good veteran hitter out right there. And, and, and one more thing Ed Hickok behind the plate, not needing any help. And that's why Ogasawara looked back because the Japanese leagues and even the Korean leagues, they're a lot, they give you a lot more leeway with the check swing. I mean, an immense amount of leeway with the check swing. So he was kind of like hoping that he'd get a little chance there. Seichu Chikawa starts at first base. And he was the leading hitter this past year in the Central League for Yokohama. At 378. Interesting that Yokohama finished last, and yet they had the league's leading home run hitter and the leading hitter in terms of average. What does that tell you? Gotta get some pitching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that team has not had pitching in a long time. Nakajima at second, Aoki at first. And quickly it's 0 and 2. And again, 70 total pitches, the limit in the first round. And that's a difference of five from 2006 when it was 65. Fans are charged up inside the Tokyo Dome. Remember, Team Japan's first workout in Miyazaki, 37,000 fans showed up. <laughs> And for the amount of traffic they had in that little town, they said it generated about $110 million in terms of tourism, which is amazing and really speaks to how popular baseball is. And I mean, it is basically 28 rock stars is yes. essentially what you're dealing with. Well, throw 29 when the manager is also one of the rock stars. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a, a special team. And they're expected again with with that type of support and love and passion comes. We expect you to get to the finals. It's a good point as far as Tatsunori Hara. I mean, he's replacing a legend in Sadahara O, oh, but for all the focus on managing, Arrest is you're talking about a guy who played for Yomiuri. He was an 11 time All Star. He won the MVP, he won the Rookie of the Year. I mean, he had you know, a nice career. He had a, a, I mean, a good, good, good career. I played against him many, many times, and uh, just never became, you know, a super megastar on the field. Very popular guy uh, off the field, still is. Pitch to Chikawa. Hit hard, fair down the line. This could score two. Nakajima in. Here comes Aoki. He'll score, and it's three to nothing. Listen to this place. Seiji Uchikawa inserted into the lineup and delivers a flat slider the first flat slider he's thrown this inning and nothing new nothing new look at each show jump up and do you think he's excited oh brother they they are into it as are everybody else that uh, the, the pool rounds in Mexico City when they get going and the US and Toronto and of course Puerto Rico people are into this here's Kosuke Fukudome 
He takes ball one. Fukudome in the game one win over China walked four times and it is one of his strengths to be sure. Yes sir. Guy who is selective and gets on base. The strike evens the count. Real quick on uh, Uchikawa. Re really, this is nothing new for this kid. I mean, this kid could flat out rake. You gotta understand, he had 189 hits in only 136 games played. That's some crazy stroking right there. That's some hitting. The swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Yeah, I would say you could just boil it down to this. If they are going to pay you to play baseball as a professional, no matter the league, 378 says it all. Yes, sir. And this is a pretty darn good league. Right there, got him looking. So three strikeouts in the inning for Kim, but the damage done. Team Japan gets some support for Daisuke Matsuzaka. Ichiro Suzuki delighted. It's 3 0. Japan up after a half inning of play, 3 0. Back inside the Tokyo Dome. South Korea coming up to hit. And let's take a look at In Chi Kim's lineup. 9 0 the win over Chinese Taipei in their first game. And Jin Yong Lee with a big grand slam came up to hit with the bases loaded twice, hit into a double play, and left the park one of two home runs for South Korea. And it was a big blast, too. That baby went well over 400 foot in the right center. Defense for Team Japan, very good in the outfield. Aoki, Fukudome, and Suzuki. Murata, Nakajima, Iwamura, and Uchikawa third to first. That outfield right there, Aoki, Fukudome, and, and, and Ichiro. I'm telling you right now that that is a world class outfield right there. As far as speed, arm strength, uh, and and they've got it pole to pole covered. I mean, I'm telling you, that is one of the better outfields you're going to see anywhere. See the numbers for Daisuke Matsuzaka. He only started 29 times because he missed some time with a rotator cuff strain. Deals a strike right there to Jung Hook Lee, the center fielder. Dice K, of course, 28 years old. Six time All Star with Cebu. Played eight years here in Japan and delivers a strike. Throwing a nice little tight slider of his own. Daisuke Matsuzaka. No two almost hits Lee. Command of times an issue for Daisuke. He walked 94 and 167 and two thirds innings. Don't think it's a stretch to say if he had been healthy, he would have led the majors. Nevertheless, he led the American League in free passes. You know, foul and out of play. One of the things that you can't help but point out with reference to that, I mean, A, he's nasty. B, maybe overthinking and not in synergy with uh, his pitching coach at times and catcher as far as wanting to throw that incredible repertoire of seven or eight pitches. And you get in trouble. Nerd skips away from Jojima, and it's two and two. Little slider right here that he just held on a little too long. That's okay. That's early season stuff. And you just got to get your body in, in tune a little bit. And those are the type of things that that this is not only a key game, but also you're you're, you're working your mechanics out too. to shore Nakajima one up one down and I found a comment by the manager of uh, South Korea very interesting this morning reading in the paper that he says uh, when they have faced Daisuke before in past competition of Olympics and in 06 
he felt that he threw meant much more fastball, relied more on his fastball in the last couple of years of watching him in the die league, in the in the major leagues, he's noticed that he's thrown much, a lot more breaking pitches. So he talked to his team about that to be cognizant of it, but their actual image and, and physical experience has been a guy who came at them with fastball sliders. Gun Woo Jung now. Yeah, I mean, essentially, at least as the perspective is, in America, he pitches like a Japanese pitcher, and for Japan in international play, he kind of pitches a little more like an, <laughs> an American, American pitcher. pitcher right? That one in the dirt. And that reminds me, Booga. Let's just go ahead and say a, a nice good morning uh, back in the United States to uh, manager Tito Francona, maybe uh, pitching coach John Farrell, uh, GM Theo Epstein, 50% <laughs> of the Boston uh, Red Sox nation who's probably watching to see how Daisuke is doing. The Red Sox have two full time employees with him, a roving pitching coach. Denny Tamori and massage therapist Takanori Maeda. And yeah, basically, they can't make it mandatory, but the hope is that he'll continue to follow the Red Sox kind of training principles, if you will. And I'll tell you what, right here, vintage dice came from 0 2 to 3 and 2. That's right. And here he is trying to, you know, throw that hard slider. He got his elbow down, didn't get on top of it. And he knew it as soon as he threw the pitch. Payoff pitch is lined in the right center field. He got a fastball and Jung hammered it. Good. That's what he needed to throw right there. Nice four seamer out of the plate. No big deal. Give up a base hit. You got three runs. Hopefully a guy like Kenji Jojima uh, will be able to convince him to throw more around the plate and aggressively. Hyun Soo Kim the left fielder now. Japan with three first inning runs. There are not too many South Korean fans here, but they're not difficult to spot. That section out there over the left field wall, they have the thunder sticks working. Of course, thunder sticks invented in Korea. But that's, for the most part, the South Korea section. There are a couple of pockets here and there. And they kind of have the Bob Euchre seats out there. Yeah. Oh, and one on the left fielder. Runner was on the go, and that one pushed foul. So in Shik Kim moving the runner. Gun Wu Jung. Great jump right here. Went. Zichiro lifted his leg. He had a great jump. Probably had it stolen. But uh, that's okay, because you, you want to let uh, Kim here swing the bat. This guy, I'm telling you, has a beautiful swing, good size. And uh, you got to be careful with this guy. Got to give him an opportunity to swing the bat. Maybe use that hole in the right side. South Korea has won six of the last seven matchups between these two teams, sweeping a pair of games in the 2000 and 2008 Olympics and winning two of three in the 06 World Baseball Classic. But Japan won when it mattered in the semis. And that one punched foul and out of play. South Korea won a pair of one run games in the first two rounds three to two and two to one. And then Japan in the semifinals beat South Korea six to nothing to move on 
for a date with Cuba and then won it all. Daisuke Matsuzaka was the starter in that championship game and ended up as the MVP in the inaugural World Baseball Classic. Here's a look at it last time around. There's something else. To see Sadahara O oh, smiling on the field, Ichiro hugging him. Uh, it was a very, very special moment. Right away, tricky little time right here. I mean, you got a very good hitter, guy who knows how to handle the bat, and uh, you have a very powerful guy on deck. Yunsu Kim rips one into right field. Jung heading for third. The throw not in time. Throw to second. Got him. Yunsu Kim a little too aggressive right there. As Murata gunned him down. And he's upset. He's got decent speed. He's a big guy, 6'2", about 210. Hits a bullet to right center. Ichiro's in right, not in center. He's in right. We know what kind of gun he has. And he sees the little guy rounding first. And he wants to gun him down. Good read by, by Kim at first base. It's just that he's not as swift. And really, the play was made by the third baseman who gave up on the play at third, went towards Ichiro's throw, and cut him down. If he sits back and tries to make the tag, then Kim makes it the second. So a nice play by Shuichi Murata. Two outs now. Matsuzaka's given up a couple of hits, both on fastballs. And now Tycoon Kim, big first baseman. I think worth noting in the inaugural World Baseball Classic, Sung Yop Lee was the big slugger for South Korea. Tycoon Kim, the man at the plate, was his backup. Well, now Lee is concentrating on his career with the Yomiuri Giants, and Tycoon Kim gets an opportunity to play. I will say that they, they being Team Japan, Hara and his fine coaching staff are going to be very 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 careful Kyun Kim right here they'd rather take their chances with the big boy uh, Daiho Kim Daiho Lee excuse me and that's why you're seeing the breaking pitches in this case I agree with that you got an open base it's early in the game go ahead there's the curveball go ahead and uh, give this guy the base and, and, and go after the, the, the bigger free swinger that ball is crushed. Way back, there it goes. Out of here. He gave him something to hit. And Tycoon Kim leaves the lot. And just like that, South Korea makes it a one-run game. And how big is that base running blunder now? That was blasted. How does uh, 3,000 fans silence 52,000? Hit a ball about 450 feet. And really, you got to hand it to uh, South Korea and their coaching staff. Gave them the green light. And then Japan did not think that he was going to be swinging away. And it wasn't even a strike. It was up in the zone. It was, zone. It was ball four. It was definitely a fastball. He was just trying to get, you know, a little get over pitch. And uh, and that's actually strange because the big hitter sees three breaking pitches. First time up. And, uh, you know, uncorks on one. I, uh, I was a bit surprised, but that's the power that we see. Three, four, five. We already saw the kid, uh, the sweet swinger and, and uh, Kim get the liner to right. There it goes, Kim. Getting a home run to home run, and here comes Dai Ho Lee. Dai Ho Lee, 6'4, just under 270 pounds. Big, big guy. But Tycoon Kim has put South Korea on the board, a 3 2 game here in the bottom of the first. John Shambe arrests Destrada. This is the matchup everyone was waiting for in Pool A.
Nice game. Matsuzaka using up a lot of pitches. Now at 26, the limit in round one is 70. Take his base. 14 balls, 13 strikes, total 27 boot. 23 for the lefty for South Korea. Kim. So both pitchers, a little jittery, getting behind in the hitters a little bit in that first inning. Breaking ball for a strike to Sien Su Chu, Cleveland Indians outfielder who is only DHing here in the first round as in tendonitis in his left elbow. To the right side, flagged down by Uchikawa, takes it himself, and that is the inning. But Team Japan, after jumping out 3 0, Tycoon Kim, a long home run, is 3 2. Back inside the Tokyo Dome as we go to the second. Japan leading it by a run. A lot of action in the first inning. Wang Hyun Kim back to work, the 20 year old. Settled down and struck out three in the first. But gave up the RBI single to Aoki. And then Uchikawa, a two run double. This guy was the MVP, this left handed pitcher of the Korean League. Kenji Jojuma up here, the Mariners catcher. Tough year this past season at 227. Yep. Seven homers, 39 knocked in. Yeah, I've gotten a chance to talk to him a lot. We're at the same hotel the whole nine. And really, really nice guy. And he knows that he had a tough year. And he's he's really dedicated. Looks in good shape. And uh, he's got to fight. You know, he's got to fight on his hands to, to, to have that everyday catching job from the kid Clement. So. He's up for it. Line drive, left center field. Fifth hit of the game for Japan. Nice job right there. Got himself a fastball. And, and, as, a, and as a good hitter, which Jojima can be. You let yourself sometimes get jammed a little bit against a nasty pitcher like this. You just go ahead and fight off a fastball up in the zone and take yourself a nice little single. I gotta say another thing about Jojo, I've always been impressed. His English in a short time has gotten so good because he knew that he had to pick up the English quicker than another Japanese player because he was a catcher. And that is such a uh, you know a special position that you have to communicate with your pitcher So I, I, I was very impressed how, how well he speaks uh, Not only the baseball jargon, but just English on a whole You will more up here the 0-1 It's a little high Akinori you will Now that guy speaks great Spanish, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You. He speaks. I can have got full conversations with him in Spanish. Just missed, and the count two and one. Our umpires for this one. And Hickox behind the plate. Jorge Perez down there at first. Andy Fletcher and Dan Toledo. Every game will be umpired by a group that is half major league umpires and half. International Baseball Federation umpires. So far here in Pool A, the big league umpires, the major league umpires from the U.S., have umpired the plate every game and are scheduled to do so the rest of the way. We'll see how that plays out in the rest of the tournament. Two and two now on Akinori Iwamura is Tampa Bay Rays. The biggest surprise of the 2008 baseball season got all the way 
to the World Series. Lost to the Philadelphia Phillies. And now it's three and two. South Korea, when they went to the semifinals in the 06 World Baseball Classic, pitching was such a key. They led the entire WBC in Team ERA at an even two. It's a payoff pitch. Iwamura lays off. And Japan back to work first and second, and nobody out. Pule play Chinese Taipei already been eliminated China awaits the loser of this game and will play an elimination game and then the winner of this one guaranteed to play in round two and will end up playing the winner of the matchup between China and the loser of this game. Ichiro Suzuki at the plate. And they just love him here. He is about to play his ninth season in the major leagues. And here's a scary thought he played nine here in Japan. Bunt at third base side. It's a great one. No play bases loaded. What a bunt! Do they love it or what? He can do no wrong right now, Boog. Look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, this is textbook. I, uh, it is, he's, the pitcher, Kim, is lucky he didn't pick, pick it up cleanly because he would have probably winged it in the right field. He has no chance. He chose 3-9, three, 3-8 three, down the line. And again, he's just, he's, he's tweaked it up a notch. I was watching and talking to him. During BP, he had an incredible BP. Started out just trying to hit his line drive, the opposite field. Then he opened up, hit some jacks, and I could see it in his eyes. And he was like, you know what? This game is mine. Here's Nero Yuki Nakajima, single and a run scored his first time. And he comes up empty. Kim having to work hard here in the early going of this game. They are all loaded up here in the top of the second. How much do the fans love this and love Ichiro? Check this out. Flash bulbs popping everywhere. Excited with the bunt single to load up the bases each row after an 0 for 5 night in game one. Now two for two. And again, one of these guys that, uh, you know, it's just a rarity. I mean, he's just, he's like Tiger, Jordan, Gretzky. I mean, it's just, he's a single name and literally was known here just by a single name. Suzuki, a very, very, very common family name. Ichiro, not as common. And he went by that. And as you saw when he comes into the plate, they chant that name when he's doing his little patented trademark setup deal with his arm. They just chant out his name. Shik Kim looking on and activity in the bullpen. Hyun Wook Jung. Yeah, they're going to go. They're going to have to go fast and furious here. You can't let this open up too much. Kim's struggling here and he's throwing a lot of pitches. Nice stop by Park, the catcher. 
And now it is filled up three and two, and there is no place for Kim to put Nakajima. This 20 year old left hander, the MVP of the Korean League, a 2.39 ERA this past year. And dubbed the Japan Killer. In the Japanese newspapers here today as he pitched so well well against Team Japan in these past Olympics South Korea the gold medalists in those Olympics in baseball all loaded up nobody out payoff pitch Good slider there that shows you how much confidence he has in that pitch it'll stay three and two you're absolutely right boogie has an immense amount of confidence in that slider he can throw it uh, for strikes he's got a couple of different ones he's got the bigger one and he's got the tighter one and uh, if you got it that good a slider why give in sometimes but he's uh, he's been getting knocked around I think that's one of the ploys and one of the tactics that Team Japan has done along with relaxing up at the plate look for that slider. Good battle here as Nakajima fouls it off and it remains filled up on the shortstop. Japan leading three to two already six hits for Team Japan. They had five That's in all right. of game one. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah they're a lot more relaxed and even though it's better competition better pitcher on the mound. It goes to show you how much the game of baseball is about the mentality and also the physicality. They all work together. If your shoulders are tight, then your swing's going to be slow. If you're thinking a little bit too anxious, then you're going to be jumping out there physically. Here's the 3 2. Missed inside ball four. He walked in a run. And it's 4 2. See how much longer In Shik Kim stays with Wong Hyun Kim. That was a tough one right there. Fastball, no, actually, looked like a little cutter. And the kid Kim wanted that. He's going, where? Mr. Hickok, where was that? I thought it was inside by a tad, just a little bit, maybe a couple inches. But he wanted it. Chikaoki takes a strike. He delivered the first run of the game with an RBI single. The left fielder from the Yakult Swallows. Only two players in the history of the Japanese league to have 200 hits in a season Ichiro Suzuki and this man. Remember, they only play 140 games. Right. And then they got another guy coming up, the kid that's playing first base who already got that double. Uchikawa at 189. So he was just 11 hit shot. So they've got three guys that can flat out hit a baseball, at least as far as base knocks goes. Up and in. Two and one. And he already had good. Results. Uh, Oki came into the game three for four versus the quote unquote Japan killer, Mr. Kim. Well, I'm just going to call the young kid Kim. He's only 20 years old. Slider fought off, and it's two and two. There you go. Look how look how tight he is. He's not at all a uh, powerful guy. He's a guy that will steal you a lot of bases, slap a lot of balls, very much like Ichiro, in, in the sense of being a slap hitter with speed. Really, really good outfielder, and can hit lefty and righty alike. Uh, 
on the ground. They get one and they can't turn it. Run scores and now it's five to two. I thought that had a chance to be a six for three double play. And that was it hard in AstroTurf. That goes to show you how swift Aoki is. Nice job. There was no mistake or hesitancy by by the shortstop and the transition by a second baseman. Uh, but again, that outfield of Fukudobe, Ichiro, and Aoki is it, just sensational. Full of speed and full of just just sensational hitters and and, and outfield. Wang Hyun Kim, the 20 year old, now has to face Shuichi Murata. And Murata, a strikeout victim his first time. 0 and 1. You know, that's a great example right there as we see a fastball out over the plate, 48th pitch for Young Kim. He struck him out the last time, Murata son. With a fastball right out over the plate with two strikes. Off he's speed pitch there. Now it's 0 and 2. Now he's got him thinking backwards. That's what Japanese pitchers will do to you. They'll throw you backwards. First pitch in this at bat right here to Murata. Fastball right out over the plate. When maybe you know Murata's up there thinking this guy's got a nasty slider. My hitting coach has told me keep an eye on the slider. And I bet you he'll throw him another fastball away. And he does right there. You got you to learn how to hit backwards here, man. It's a frustrating thing. Japan leading 5-2. And the Japanese League home run champ at the plate. Shuichi Murata. Third baseman. Plays his games for Yokohama. It has been a loud and active crowd inside the Tokyo Dome. Fastball away again. Murata gets a piece. It's a good job right here, just protecting the plate. Fastball away, not sure. Uh, Mr. Hickok behind the plate might call that one, so. Ball in two strikes, the count, already 52 pitches thrown by Kim. Hit hard, but foul is. Ichiro does a little dance to get out of the way of that one. Don't be hurting that guy, Murata san. Seattle Mariners won't be happy campers right now if they see an Ichiro get clipped. <laughs> well, firstly, manager Hara for Team Japan and about 55,000 and maybe 130 million Japanese will, wouldn't be happy. But then. This Seattle Mariners would be next. Yeah, then Jack Sorensic and company would be upset. <laughs> yes. In that order, right. And uh, newly hired Wakamatsu manager <laughs> would not want to be hearing that one. So we'll we'll get off that, that subject right there. John Wakamatsu, the new manager for the Mariners. They are really making Kim work, fouling off a lot of pitches. Yeah. This young guy trying to hang in, but it has been tough. And what I like right here about Murata, he's a big home run hitter. You know, he's got he's, he's got some pop. Knows this stadium very well. But he's broken down his swing right now. The last two or three foul balls, he's looking to get himself a base hit, try to hit the ball in the air. He's got one out, man on third base.
right now we've got to keep an eye on maybe the runner at first base going and we know the speed of Ichiro at third. Aoki at first. He's not going. High fly ball left field. Kim back. Kim at the wall. And it's out of here. Shuichi Murata long drawn out at bat and on the tenth pitch deposits it just over the left field wall. And look how fired up he is. A three run homer and it's eight to two. He's fired up because he knows what kind of a bat he just finished having. And that's the time when you hit a home run when you're not trying to hit a home run. That was, you know, as beautiful in a bat as you're going to get. Ended up getting a changeup. Got himself a changeup after all those fastballs and hard sliders. That goes to show you what a good hitter this kid is. Kept his hands back, lost a fly ball, good things happen. And she came out to the mound, and we've got ourselves a pitching change. Tough start for Guang Hyun Kim, who gives up eight earned runs. Team Japan has broken it open. Eight two and a pitching change. And up to hit Michihiro Ogasawara, the designated hitter, struck out his first time. And comes up empty on the first offering from Hyun Uk Jung. Side and it's even up a ball and a strike. So the right hander had some command issues 56 walks in 127 innings. Oga Sawara doing the DHing here in this one. He started at first base in Japan's first game. I wonder how Daisuke Matsuzaka is going to respond because he's been waiting now for about 25 minutes. Bouncer to first and Kim over to Jung. And there's two away. Yeah, that that's uh, going to be a little bit of concern, and you know, for all that we're all looking to see how Daisuke is looking, seeing tuned up or not, kind of had. That you know, old dice game kind of things going on here. Seichi Uchikawa up at the plate had a big two run double in the first. Uchikawa starting at first base. And the only change is Uchikawa instead of. Inaba, huge inning, five runs for Japan. They lead it 8 2. We go to the bottom of the second inside the Tokyo Dome. South Korean fans trying to get something going against Daisuke Matsuzak in the first inning. South Korea came up with a couple of runs that Daisuke not exactly peppering the strike zone, had to work hard. So already 29 pitches thrown by the right hander. And here is Jin Young Lee who had a grand slam in his first at bat of this World Baseball Classic. That was against Chinese Taipei last night. Now for all the talk in this World Baseball Classic here in Asia about the difference in the baseball, you're using a, a Rawlings baseball that's made of cowhide. In Asia, they usually use a Mizuno ball made of horsehide. The guy that has got to have the least problem making the transition would be Daisuke Matsuzaka. There's that monster blast he hit last night for the Grand Slam. 
That one ripped and off the glove of Iwamura. That was hit hard. Thought he might have a chance. Aki would have a chance to make a little bit of a circus catch here. It was a bullet bounce off his glove. I thought he might be able to get back to it and catch it before it hit the ground, but no go there. That was a bullet. Definitely should be ruled the base hit. And it has been. So now Kyung Won Park. And a strike to the catcher, the veteran catcher, 36 years old. Check swing and a ball down and in. And the count one and one. Boog, not to belittle the batting prowess of Team China and Team South, uh, excuse me, Chinese Taipei. But we're seeing a whole different level of hitters right here tonight. We're seeing the Team Japan, you know, with Ichiro, Ujikawa, uh, you know, Murata. That are, you know, that are a different level of swinging the bat. Check swing, appeal to first, didn't go, says Jorge Perez. And now two and two. Take another look. Uh, he held up there. Good job, good call. And then on, on the Korean side, three, four, five are big, big boppers. There's some, there's some swingers here. Yeah, I mean, the difference, I think, between these two teams in China and Chinese Taipei, I think it starts offensively with the power. Yeah. More guys with the ability to hit it out of the park. Sure. And drive balls. I mean, you see balls that have backspin and go in the gaps. Uh, you know, this is a big difference. On a bounce to third. Murata to Iwamura on to Uchikawa. 5-4-3. Check out how quick Akinori gets rid of the ball and what he has on it. I mean, he is such an athlete at second base. Akinori Omura, a converted third baseman. Look how quick. He just got it, boom, get rid of it, and it was on the money over to first base. It helps that he was a third baseman for many years in Japan and for the first couple of years or so with the Tampa Bay Rays because that you got to have a strong arm to be a third baseman. But the footwork, he had really, you know, you may say, well, he's kind of, you know, shorter. He's five and nine. He never played second. And he got called upon to play second with the Rays, took it on positively and says, I'm going to learn his position. And man, has he ever. A big reason why the Tampa Bay Rays went to the World Series, by the way. Little bouncer right side, and there is Iwamura. Handles the chance, and that's that. We played two, Japan on top. Top half of the third inside the Tokyo Dome. Packed house, Japan leading at eight to two. World Baseball Classic coverage well underway. Action in Pool D begins in San Juan. The Netherlands taking on the Dominican Republic. Panama going up against Puerto Rico. And then in Pool C, some great matchups. The U.S. and Canada plus Italy and Venezuela. Check your local listings for the exact time in your region. The World Baseball Classic baseball spoken here. Kosuke Fukudome up here, fouls one back. <laughs> it's, it's funny, we're watching, looking at that, and and I'm down there getting doing my little recon mission with all my boys from former teammates and guys I played against for you know for Team Japan, getting info from the South Korean team, et cetera, et cetera. And a couple of the Japanese coaches come up to me. One starts asking me about Mexico. They're they're turning the recon on me. Asking me about Team Mexico, and the other one's asking me about Team Cuba, the Cubans. 
they're going, hey, so Ore, uh, you uh, you kind of know what, what's uh, what's going on with that? And I'm like, wait, I'm down here asking you about your take. Right. Don't be asking me about that. Yeah, they want as much information as they can get. I really, really, I mean, I know, you know, Goa is going to be a tough team, but team, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on Team Mexico. I'm telling you, they're, they're asleep with That one way high from Hyun Uk Jung. New catcher into the game. Min Ho Kong. Got him looking. Fukudome down on strikes. Got him with the fastball in. That baby had a little la last minute tail right back in. Enough to uh, catch that corner and Pukadome, who, who has a notorious, very, very good eye at that play, uh, didn't really agree with it, but I, I thought it caught it. Kenji Jojima now a single and a run scored. We mentioned Don Wakamatsu, the new manager for the Seattle Mariners. Jojima actually flew back to America to work out a couple of days with the Mariners in early February to work out and to meet his new manager February 9th and 10th as he flies out and I think the Mariners new brass impressed by that both their new GM Jack Sorensic and Don Wakamatsu Don Wakamatsu of course the first Japanese descent manager and Major League history. And now time called. And I believe we're going to have another pitching change. Indeed, we are. 8 2, Japan leads. Nori Iwamura against Won Sun Jung. Bummer. Take a pitch here, Aki. Won Sun Jung delivers inside a ball and a strike to Aki Iwamura. Japan all over South Korea 8-2. Punches one foul. Akinori Iwamura facing this left hander had a good season in the Korean League. Yes, he did. And yet another lefty book. The Korean team is chock full of left handed pitchers. Got him looking. Iwamura down on strikes, and Japan goes one, two, three. Midway in the third, it's 8 2. Back here in Tokyo, Japan leading it 8 to 2 over South Korea. Fans are packed into the Tokyo Dome watching Daisuke Matsuzaka. And the top of the order. Jong-uk Lee to start it off. Daisuke has had to work hard early on. Lee 0 for 1. And first pitch swinging comes up empty. 44 pitches now for Daisuke. And again, the limit here in the first round is 70 pitches. That is up 5 from 2006. Bouncer to third, Murata. And there's one away. There are a couple of rules changes 
for the 2009 World Baseball Classic. Round one is no longer round robin. It is double elimination. Chinese Taipei has already been eliminated from Pool A. As well, in extra inning play, you have that special extra inning rule starting in the 13th where every inning begins with runners at first and second. And of course, as well, the two mercy rules. Ten is the difference at the end of seven complete 15 runs after five. There we go. 29 pitches in the first inning for Dice 14 in the second inning. He's coming out now aggressive, going at the hitter. Seemed to be a little more comfortable on the mound. Got him looking. First strikeout for Dice K. Two down. That was a late breaking cutter slider. Oh, look at that wrinkle at the end. That was a nasty pitch. I was wanting to ask you a question, Boop. He pitches for Red Sox Nation, and now he's pitching for Japan Nation. Which of the two nations do you think are just a little more rabid and crazier about baseball? I mean, remember now, Japan Nation is 130 million strong. Red Sox Nation, I don't know, arguably it could be the size of China. I'm That's, not sure. It is big. It is big. <laughs> There's no doubt. I mean, I, I think that, you know, one of the things that gets overlooked in terms of Red Sox fans and the support is it's not just about fans in Boston. It's that whole area of the country, the sure. whole New England area. Yep. So it's Massachusetts, New Hampshire, oh, no. Maine, yeah. Vermont, that whole area, parts of Connecticut. And they and they move out west and out of the country and they continue being Red Sox Nation. It's, it's impressive. It really is. The pitch to Hyunsu Kim misses downstairs. He singled to right his first time up and tried to stretch the single into a double and was thrown out by Shuichi Murata. The 3 1. Little low ball four. Second walk by Matsuzaka. Japan leading it 8 to 2. Winner of this one is guaranteed to move on to round two. I'll keep up with the latest World Baseball Classic news and stats at worldbaseballclassic.com. As well, you can shop and find the largest selection of authentic World Baseball Classic items from all 16 countries, clubhouse gear, T-shirts, jerseys, and more, worldbaseballclassic.com. Here's Tycoon Kim blasted a two run homer in the bottom of the first. Throw gets away. Jojima throw down to second, not in time. Kenji Jojima did well just to make a play there. Pitch in the dirt. He blocked it, it popped up, and was able to make a throw, but Kim gets down to second. Yeah, a little risky move again by Kim. Who has what is seemingly a good read? He had the one earlier when he got the base hit. Ichiro throws the third, and he thinks I'm I'm in the second fine. And that one, he's thinking man, ball's in the dirt. I make it easy. Wasn't that easy? Got a big league catcher back there. One and two on Tycoon Kim. Fly ball right field. Ichiro is there. No runs, no hits. A walk, one left. End of three. It's a two. We go to the fourth from the Tokyo Dome. John Shambi arrests the Strata. Pool A play continuing and. The World Baseball Classic 8 2 Japan on top. And here is Ichiro. Two for two. And a strike in there from Jung. We talked to 
Tatsunori Hara, the manager for Japan before the tournament started, and asked him about constructing the lineup. And the manager, Hara, said, the first three spots I want on base percentage, he's gotten that. As Ichiro has his third hit of the game. And so far, the top of the order has been devastating for Japan. Well, you know, he's an equal opportunity employer. He'll go, he'll go to right on a slider. He'll bump down the third base line for you. Just to give you a little different look. And then, oh yeah, you know what? I'll flare one into center too. I've done that a lot in my life. Top three spots in the order. Five for six with a walk for Team Japan. That'll work in the on-base percentage department. Here is Niroyuki Nakajima. The other thing, too, that I like is he said he wanted the on-base percentage from the top three. The sluggers in the middle, and from seven, eight, nine, he said he wanted the unexpected. <laughs> Time called on the field. Suzuki at first. Nobody out. Japan with three in the first, five in the second. Leading a two. Nakajima skies this one foul off of first. And Kim will watch it drift out of play. And the un by the unexpected, I mean, it sounds a little twilight zone there a little bit, but. Really, I mean, there's a lot of things that they can do. You got, look at the, 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 the for example, the one that he's using right here. He's got Fukudomi, jo, Jojima, Iwamura. Iwamura, you know, very flexible with the bat. Jojima can take you deep. Uh, you might hit and run with them. A lot of different things that you can do with those three guys. Veteran hitters, all three. That I think is what he meant. Metaphorically, as far as like, to be the unexpected, the unexpected. Yeah, steel bunt, hit and run. That's the type of stuff you look for from 7-8-9. Couple of big hits in this game for Team Japan. First inning, Seiichi Uchikawa didn't start in game one. Two run double down the line. That made it three to nothing. And then a magnificent in bat in the second. Ten pitch at bat for Shuichi Murata, a three run homer. Just got out. And that's where we are. Eight to two. There is Shuichi Murata. As a hitter, nothing more gratifying than that type of an at bat. When you battle a really nasty, you know, fastball slider type of pitcher. Like the young kid Kim is, who's who's been tough on Team Japan before. It's not the first time. Uh, and that's that's super gratifying, especially here at home in front of what 57,000 people. And we saw Uchikawa's hit, and right now Manager Hara is looking beautiful because remember he replaced Atsunori Inaba, who was his DH. Uh, two days ago, in lieu of putting the veteran Ogasawara at DH and then bring in Uchikawa, the right handed hitmaster at first base. Runner goes, throw to second, not in time. And Ichiro with a stolen base. So a little bit of the unexpected from the top of the order. Well, to some degree, this kinda is expected. This guy can flat out fly. And he's going to cause havoc. The thing about an Ichiro, what he does to you is he always puts pressure on your defense and your pitcher. Not just when he's on the plate, not just when he's hitting, which obviously he does, but when he gets on base, he can steal a base. Watch out, he may even take third on you. There's a lot of stuff that, that makes a team have to think on defense when he's on base. 3 2. On a bounce, it eats up Lee into left. Here comes Ichiro. He'll score and it's 9 2 and into second is Nakajima. I don't know if that took a funny hop or what it was, but well, Daiho Lee could make the play. 
He's six four, almost 270 pounds. He needs to play defensive tackle right there and get in front of that ball. That's the bottom line. You can't backhand that ball. He's a big boy. You got to move your feet, square the ball up so it hits you in the chest, up in the shoulder. You knock it down and you, and you keep first and third. You try to backhand that ball and that's trouble. E5. Ripped foul down the line off the bat of Norichika Aoki. Aoki had a couple of hits in the game one win over China. He's one out of two in this one. The winner of this game guaranteed to move on to round two. The loser will take on China in an elimination game. Just missed inside one and one. Up foul and back of the plate. And a nice grab there by Kong. So the catcher able to put that one away. Minho Kong. And here is Shuichi Murata, who had the big three run homer his last time up. Mr. Murata right now is uh, hitting in the first couple of games like another guy who his name starts with an M and wears a mouthpiece. Manny, Manny Ramirez. <laughs> Not too many guys to wear the mouthpiece pieces at home. If hopefully we'll get a chance. But he keeps his mouth closed a lot, but he's wearing he has that royal blue mouthpiece. And he probably uses it to kind of calm his jaw, relax yourself. There you see a little bit of it. If you relax your jaw, it relaxes your neck, it relaxes your shoulders, and it relaxes your forearms and your hands. So there's a purpose and a method to Manny's madness, by the way. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, Manny's got a little bit of that crazy like a fox tour. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a little nuts, but I just studied that picture that's on the mound when you weren't even looking, and I know all four pitches that he's got. Good Manny story. Jet Blues, the airline partner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, announcing a $99 fare for about the next week from Boston and New York to L.A. in tribute to Manny Ramirez signing and his number 99. <laughs> well. In Sheik Kim looking on. Remember back in 2006, he was the manager of South Korea. And they were able to beat Japan twice, but when it counted in the semifinals, Japan got past South Korea into the finals where they beat Cuba. 9 2 here. And Murata turning in another fine at bat. He really is. I mean, he's. He, he's I just love how quiet he is with his with his bottom half for a power hitter as I said earlier this guy he's this this is no fluke this is no joke the ballparks in Japan now are not short by any stretch of uh, the imaginations they almost every ballpark is brand new within the last five ten years they got legit dimensions so you gotta you gotta crank it and uh, and this guy can and I also like the fact that, that, you know, that he can battle tough pitches and stay, uh, stay alive in the count. We're in the top of the fourth, one out, man at second. And 
Japan leading South Korea 9 to 2. On the ground of the hole, flagged down by Park. He'll have no play. Infield single. And Murata with his second hit of the game. Well, I thought all he did was hit home runs. Uh, nice to see that he also mixes in a single every now and then. Ground ball hit hard. Another great at bat by Murata Sun. And he uh, extended his rally. So first and second, Murata's turned in some good at bats. And he really is the heart of that lineup as far as that power. Because as you've seen all up and down, I've talked about before, I like Team Japan's lineup. It just lacks big boppers. But what it, what it misses in boppers, it has a great hitters. Yeah, the two big thumpers in the middle of the lineup, Murata and this guy, Olga Sawara, they combined for 82 homers this past year. Yeah, but you see, Olga Sawara for me is one of those non power power hitters. Does that make sense to <laughs> you? Yeah, the only thing is, there's only one other guy with more than 20 homers on the team. So if the homers are going to come from anywhere, I, I agree. They're going to come from no, Murata. No, no, no. And, I, and I, I agree. I'm just saying that he hit 36 jacks, but first of all, this is, this is his home ballpark, so he's playing most of the game here. The ball carries well here, and and he hits what you consider to be cheaper, you know, home runs. He doesn't hit the big. He's not a big, powerful home run hitter. Hey, but a home run's a home run. But when he does get in a little bit of trouble, he tends to break it down and look for the gaps. Would you say the bulk of the parks in the Japanese league are pitchers' parks or hitter parks? They've changed dramatically. They used to be hitters' parks galore. Now they actually are pitchers' parks. Up the middle, knocked down by Jung. Look at that play. Kick saving a beauty. Runners advance and there's two down. Looked like a little cutter. Fastball. Kick save and a beauty. Pete Peters. Had to throw in a little uh, Marv Albert back in the day. Juan Sum Jung hit that with his right foot. Well, Shuichi Murata for Team Japan, biggest hit of the game. A 10 pitch at bat. That was Oshikawa getting that double. And uh, after fouling off and battling after nine pitches on that 10th. And the, and the great thing about that at bat, Boop, the 10th pitch was a pitch he hadn't even seen. He threw a 10th pitch changeup on the tough home run hitter, and he's kept his hands back and got it because it was all fastball slider, fastball slider. So Uchikawa and Murata, the two biggest hits in this one, and it's a 9 2 game. And here is Uchikawa. And ball one to the first baseman. Really like this guy. Uh, he can very, very good hitter. Kind of your prototypical Japanese approach at the plate, that the famous each Nissan type of a setup with the hands out in front of your body. Each being one, two, three, each Nissan. Take back two, swing three. Um, you know, not real powerful. Hits up the middle a lot, doesn't strike out a whole lot. But I mean, this guy, this guy can hit 330 in the big leagues. I mean, that's how, that's how good I think this guy can be as a hitter. Because it's one thing to have a Japanese style, but it's nothing to have better hand-eye coordination than the next guy. Well, he hit 378 for Yokohama this past year, led the Central League in hitting. 
There you go right here. Look how close he stays. And they really work their hips well. You see how they have that kickback? But it's all synchronized, and the bottom half of your body sits down very nicely. So you glide into the pitch. Just missed outside. Like some guys have big leg kicks. Like remember, El Indio, Ruben High Sierra used to have that big leg kick. But it was kind of more of a wilder leg kick. This one is a little more controlled and used for, for timing. Now three and two with runners at second and third and two outs here in the fourth. 9-2 Japan. The winner of this one guaranteed to move on to the second round. The loser will take on China in another elimination game. Our first elimination game here in Pool A, China took out Chinese Taipei. Comes a 3-2. Outside ball four. They are loaded. Well, a lot of people, a lot of fans, and people in the press were wondering where's the offense in game one for Japan? Well, here it is. Now Fukudome, who has struck out twice. He had a tough first year with the Cubs. And really a, a, a tale of two halves. Right, that's what I was gonna say. Not a, overall, I guess it's a tough first year, Book, but a tough second half, really. Yeah, hit close to 200 in the second half after being an all-star in the first half. Opening day, hit a big home run. Three-run jack, it was beautiful. You know, and, and I and I kind of studied his uh, his splits this winter, and I was looking at it in a situational hitting. He really didn't do anything different. He didn't strike out more. He he just put the ball in play more. He did walk a little a little less. He just lost his power. He, I mean, literally, literally physically. I don't mean power like home run power. The balls that he was hitting became little flares, and he couldn't drive the ball, and all of a sudden he's just making more out. So uh, hopefully what he's done this year is just trained. I'm telling you, the pressures combined with the schedule of the major leagues, which is a lot more intense than here, tired him out. Check swing, roller to third, Lee. Throws him out. Japan picks up a run and it's 9 2. Back in Tokyo, Japan up 9 2. A look at the bullet train and now a look inside the Tokyo Dome. It is a packed house. And much to the delight of the home fans. Nice game, Matsuzaka with a comfortable lead. It'll be Daiho Lee to start things off. The big guy walked his first time. And delivers up and in ball one. Dice K so far in this one. 58 pitches. Here comes number 59. So unless he is an undice K like efficient here in inning number four the guess here is that this will be it for him. Left field Aoki one gone. And with one away, Matsuzaka will face Sien Su Chu. Big guy Lee just getting under that one. 
committed the hips a little bit too early on that little slider. And now the Indian Sien Su Chu broke his bat, popped it up. Murata in foul ground, two away. I guess I spoke too soon. He has been <laughs> efficient. Yeah. There's the sidewinder, Shunsuke Watanabe. He's the guy that's expected to come in as the number two guy when I was talking to their pitching coach before the game for Team Japan. It's supposed to be Shunsuke Watanabe. Now one of the few guys missing off of Team Japan. We mentioned Hideki Matsui rehabbing from injury, but Hideki Okajima completely healthy, but not pitching for Team Japan. Hideki Okajima, one of the best left-handed relievers in baseball. What a job that guy's done. I mean, you know, he's in his late 30s, brother. And, and he went over to the major leagues and has just Overall, he went through a little hiccup there his second year, but early on in that season. But he dominated the first year, came back again last year, and, and, and finished strong with that herky jerky, okie dokie motion of this. Bouncer to first, Uchikawa handles it easily, and Daisuke gets him in order. It's 9 2 and a 4. On to the fifth, 8 9 1 for Japan. Jojima, Iwamura, and Suzuki. And Ichiro and company with a 9 2 advantage. And here's the Mariners catcher, Kenji Jojima. He'll be fighting for playing time with Jeff Clement. Jojima one out of two. An 11 year career here in Japan. And the starting catcher, of course, five Major League Baseball players on Team Japan. Four of them position players, and they all start. And there's another, Aki Iwamura. That ball is smoke, but way foul. And being on the field and being around him last this past week, all of them, at least I, I can talk more about the, the everyday players, happy to be back home for a little bit. Part of this team, Japan, of the World Baseball Classic. And, and to be around their guys, you know what I mean. Let's be honest; they they enjoy playing in the Dai League, as they call it, the major leagues. It's a it's a big deal, but uh, it's nice to be back home for a little while. Line drive, right center field, and a base hit. So the leadoff man aboard. And folks, this copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of World Baseball Classic Incorporated. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Here's Akinori Iwamura. A walk and a strikeout. We're talking about the fact that Iwamura is now wearing number eight. Back in 2006, he wore number one. He wears number one for the Rays. But this time around, he deferred to his elder, Kosuke Fukudome, let him wear number one. So he wore number eight, at least in part, in tribute to his manager, Tatsunori Hara, who wore that number when he played. Here's the funny thing our research guru, Brad Lefton, was making the point that. He will more a very superstitious and he likes to style some. So of course all of his stuff the shoes the wristbands everything. It's all got number one on it. 
So once he got number eight, you know, make sure he got himself wristbands and shoes and everything that that has Nothing eight on it that. instead Nothing of wrong one. With that. Nothing wrong with that. You got it. You got it. You got a style, man. You got it. You got to look right. It, it, hey, back in the day, Fernando said, "Remember back in the day, darling, it's better to look good than to feel good, darling." Don't you forget that, okay? Thank you, Fernando Lamas. Fernando Lamas. And Akinori Wamura. I'm telling you, he looks good, man. He looks good. Well, Japan's gotten the offense going. Korea. The South Koreans have been stifled a bit after that two run homer in the first. Not much since. And Japan back at it. Two aboard and nobody out. Ichiro Suzuki went 0 for 5 in game one. And he's 3 for 3 here tonight. Nasty slider that he went down and got. First and second, nobody out. Lays a bunt, flat out flies. Fastball out over the plate. The patented Ichiro flare in the center. He can line you. He could hit a, you know, a four hopper that he beats out. He can even take you deep every now and then. John buzzes the tower a little bit up and in. Fans didn't like it. And they continue to chant his name. How about this? Game one, Japan wins 4 0. Ichiro went 0 for 5. There was a workout yesterday for Team Japan. The Japanese press counted Ichiro's swings at the workout 200 swings between the batting cage and soft toss. I mean you talk about living under a microscope. <laughs> They're counting your swings the combo of the soft toss and in the batting cage. Well, I'm fascinated by is the irony that it was exactly 200 swings. That might be kind of something Ichiro would do, you know what I mean? Just to make sure that that's exactly how many swings I want to take. Not one more, not one less. Pulled off that pitch right there. And there's one away, and Ichiro down on strikes. Yeah, he, he pulled the string on him a little bit. Got him a rarity. Ichiro swinging and missing, which he doesn't do a whole lot. But most of the damage has been done by the man known as the probably the best you know singles maker in the world as far as just getting a flat out base hit. Nero Yuki Nakajima here. I want to come back real quick to the, the point you made about Akinori Iwamura and wearing number eight, Hachiban would be in Japanese as opposed to number one. I'll tell you right after this pitch. And, and, and the interesting thing is Fukudoma, you said, because it was Fukudoma's his elder. A very big part of the Japanese system. And it, and it trickles down all the way to the baseball and anything that you do is the senpai kohai senpai is somebody that's older than you that you you have to and must and should respect kohai is the younger person so whenever you get a a younger player and you get in a situation like that there is no i want to give you a motorcycle or i'm going to buy the number from you it's real simple you're older than me i should be able to get the shirt Line drive, base hit down the left field line. In to score Jojuma. Iwamura stops at third and it's 10-2. And Japan just unloading on South Korea. And it's the, a double <laughs> for Nakajima. And Nakajima is pretty much everybody's Kohai. So he's getting coffees and colas and waters for the rest of Team Japan, but he's also knocking in runs and knocking in the senpai Mr. Joe Jima 
So now Nori Chikaoki, one out of three. Fly ball center field. This will get another run in. Lee back has it. Tagging and scoring Iwamura and moving to third is Nakajima. 11 to 2. And again, remember World Baseball Classic play. There is a mercy rule. In fact, two mercy rules. If you were up by 10 at the end of seven complete, the game is over. Up by 15 at the end of five complete, the game is over. Well, Japan up nine as Iwamura touches. The beauty of baseball. What a difference a day makes. I mean, just two days ago, everybody worried about this offense of Team Japan, embarrassed by the team from China that is I mean even Terry Collins tell you himself that arm strength is severely lacking and now they come out and beat up on the defending gold medal winners the team in the Beijing that beat team Cuba USA and beat out team Japan to win a gold medal so this is a pretty good South Korean team. Japan 11, South Korea 2. And Shuichi Murata, the count now 3 and 0. Oh, Murata has had a couple of fantastic at bats his last two times up. A three run homer in the second, an infield single in the fourth. But just those two at bats, he saw 17 pitches. And walks on four pitches right there. Sam Kung, the left hander, South Korea down by nine. Gotta figure the South Koreans were feeling good. Gwang Hyun Kim started, the lefty and 20 year old who had dominated Japan in the Beijing Olympics, and he lasted just an inning and a third. The lefty gave up eight runs on seven hits. And Oga Sawara, the DH, 0 for 3. Yeah, and even after a rough start for Kim in the first inning, and Japan puts a three spot out there, the big boy Kim, their fourth batter, hits a two run big fly. So you feel like, oh, here we go again. This, these bats are going to wake up. He, uh, maybe Dicey's going to struggle a little but fall behind. That was not the case. Sliced foul down the line. And one and one on Olga Sawara. Daisuke settled down from 29 pitches to 14 to, you know, staying around in the, in the low teens every inning since. Eleven to Japan leading South Korea and a packed in crowd here at the Tokyo Dome John Shambi Arrestas Destrata the winner of this game guaranteed to move on to the second round the loser will play China in an elimination game we have already had one team eliminated from pool A Chinese Taipei lost earlier today to China. My ball and Lee pulls it down and that's the inning but two more for Japan it's 11 2 11 2 Japan leading South Korea and action in pool D begins in San Juan as the Netherlands takes on the Dominican Republic Panama goes up against Puerto Rico then in pool C some great matchups the U.S. and Canada plus Italy and Venezuela check your local listings for the exact time in your area, the World Baseball Classic Baseball spoken here.
Dice came out Suzaka done and taking over the side winding right hander Shunsuke Watanabe. Shunsuke a very talented very popular pitcher in Japan pitches for none other than Bobby V Bobby Valentine's Lotte Marines and Chiba. Bouncer up the middle Nakajima handles the chance one away. So Daisuke Matsuzaka done after four. Walked a pair struck out one. They gave up the two runs on the two run homer by Tycoon Kim. Yeah, and you know I had talked to the pitching coach before the game he says I haven't seen him this sharp. This early and really Boog sons that first inning little bit of jitters which is understandable. Uh, he was sharp he was effective he had a nice slider. Spot you know he spotted his pitches pretty well his velocity you know is going to start building and building and building. He was very good. He got eight of the last nine. To finish his out. Now on to Nobby deals down and in. Because of his change of velocity capability and change of the corners that he's able to use when when he's on like that. I mean he's he's Cy Young potential. This one to third and quickly there two outs. Nice play right there. Smooth. Team Japan can pick it. Morata is not just known for his hitting, he's a solid defensive third baseman. And they, they pride themselves on their on their defense, by the way. They put hours on their defense. Jungkook Lee 0 for 2. An 11 2 game here inside the Tokyo Dome. The winner advances to round 2. The loser will play an elimination game against China tomorrow. I'll tell you, this guy, Shunsuke Watanabe, was just about as valuable as Daisuke Matsuzaka in the last World Baseball Classic. 13 and 2 thirds innings of work. And his ERA was 198. It induces the pop up here and gets South Korea one, two, three. We played five. It's 11 to two. Back inside the Tokyo Dome, all Japan in this one, an 11 to two lead over South Korea. Japan got right after it on top one to nothing and in the first it was Seichi Uchikawa with the big two run double that made it three nothing. He led all Japan in hitting 378 but you know what uh, you thought that might be enough early on but that big fly right there made it three to two. And then the at bat of the game 10 pitches for Shuichi Murata who was Getting behind early, he was down 0 2, fouled off some pitches, and then eventually was able to get something that he could handle. Here it comes. It's this changeup that he's going to see right now. That is just a thing of art right there to, have to be able to do that. And the error at third by Daiho Lee. And Daisuke Matsuzaka came up with a strikeout four innings gave up just the two runs and that's where we are an 11 to 2 game quickly getting back to Maranta that changeup, and he said it after the at bat when they interviewed him here in, in the middle of the game as I had said the only changeup that he saw in that whole at bat it was all fastball slider fastball slider fastball slider with which he went down 0 2 right off the bat then he battled Gets a changeup and he's able to crank it out. It was a beautiful thing. Let's go back to something that you just pointed out, and fans may think that they misheard you. 
yes they do actually have quotes passed around in the press box from the players during the game and when you examine the dugouts for all these teams and in the Japanese leagues the PR guy sits in the dugout so after Murata hits the home run the team PR guy or in this case Japan's media relations slash PR guy goes up and ask him about the homer and he says yeah I got a bunch of sliders and cutters and fastballs and then eventually I got to change up and hit it out they write it down and then eventually circulated in the press box during the game in game quotes which is yeah. pretty funny it's so unique they would come up to you after yeah. you'd hit a home run and ask you a question yeah a lot of times you'd go in the, in the uh, there's a, a little like back area right behind the dugout different than most major league ballparks a lot of them are kind of little swing rooms slash just almost like a little lounge area directly behind the dugout in all of the Japanese uh, major stadiums. So that's where they would catch you and say, okay, what do you think about that? Fly ball right field. Lee handles the chance. Team Japan ahead comfortably 11 to 2. And a new pitcher on the mound, Jay Wu Lee. Mr. Jay Wu Lee had himself a nice year last year with a 1.55 ERA. He was nasty. Fukudome up here. Kosuke Fukudome 0 for 3. Japan has pounded out 11 runs on 11 hits. Still buzzing inside the Tokyo Dome. The fans from South Korea have been quiet really since the first. As Fukudome goes the other way and comes up with his first hit of the 2009 World Baseball Classic. Nice piece of hit right there. Stayed back on it. Hit it off the end of the bat a little bit, but hey, it gets on the board. You know, the team has got 11 hits, now 12. You want to get in the middle of it? And uh, real quick, I mean, you, you heard the chants, and I hadn't had a chance to talk about that. But in Asian baseball, especially here in Japan, every player has its own little chant. They do it uh, kind of like a college football game. <laughs> if you can compare it to that, Boog, it's synchronized cheering sections. And the more popular they are, the more the whole stadium knows your particular chant. For example, Ichiro is very simple. They just say his old name, it's just his name. But other ones, it'll be a song, and they'll be saying something such as, come on, Fook, you know, get a base hit. It'll be, you know, something like that in Japanese. It's pretty cool. Jojima at the play takes a strike. What would they chant for you? Uh, I had the uh, Kato Basen. Oh, hey, is just basically, you know, get a big hit. Um, well, the one thing I had to do was learn to tone it out. Because quite the opposite when you're in the major leagues or in the United States, anywhere, and you're up to the plate, your home crowd is actually wanting to be quiet. And they want to be disruptive when the other team's hitting. Uh, so I, I, you have to learn to literally kind of like tune that out and get into that tunnel vision of you and the pitcher. And I was able to do so, especially early on when you don't understand the language. That 
ball is ripped left field way back and out of here. Kenji Jojima two run homer. And it is 13 to 2. Everything has worked today for Team Japan, including manager Hara. One through three have worked well. Three through four have worked well. And oh, by the way, seven through eight, there is the unexpected. Fuk Nome gets a nice little base hit. And Jojima, who has not been hitting the last year or so, cranks one over the wall. Yeah, that's the unexpected for sure. So the two run blast and it's 13 to 2. I don't think that this is what people expected in setting oh up this matchup. Gosh. 13 to 2, no sir. But those things happen. This is baseball. Just like Team China was able to corral them for five hits and they were tense. And just like South Korea come came out and, and beat up on Chinese Taipei nine to nothing yesterday. Uh, you know this doesn't mean anything. These guys are going to meet up again, and you know what? They're going to meet up again. <laughs> this is this is probably going to be one of what? Who possibly three more chances to meet? Well, potentially I mean, Monday night. Yeah, if they if if South Korea loses this. And Obviously, it looks like that is going to happen as Jung throws out Iwamura. Well, then they will play again if South Korea can eliminate China. They would do that on Monday, so that would be two. Two total. Those two teams, South Korea and Japan, would then move on to San Diego in round two. I guess it kind of depends on how they match it up because. They would not play the first time. No, no, no. But they're looking at hypothetically Team Korea here doesn't pull out a miraculous comeback. They should take care of China. They'll meet up again on Monday. You're talking about three more times potentially. Ichiro drives this one to center. Lee back. He's got it. And that's the inning. But Kenji Jojima, the big two run homer, the Mariners catcher delivers 13 to 2. Back inside the Tokyo Dome, we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's all Japan leading South Korea 13 to 2. And a new pitcher on the hill for Japan, Sugiuchi Toshia. And the southpaw on here, look at that, 213 strikeouts in 196 innings. And that windup, that motion is funky. I, I love this kid. I've seen him pitch for many years. And uh, he led uh, all of Japan leagues with strikeouts. They just edged out our boy Yu Darvish with a 213. And he is slight of build, but powerful of shoulder. He throws it up there in the 90s with good movement and uh, big heart. And this is definitely a guy that can pitch in the big leagues without a problem whatsoever. And uh, he's going to be a key guy. Getting a little work here. They told me that they definitely were trying to get Sugiuchi in the game and also Shunsuke Watanabe. They've been able to get uh, Watanabe in there with some work already. Gunwoo Jung. One out of two, the second baseman up here. It's 13 to two, bottom of the sixth. John Shelby arrests his Destrada. So this guy, the little lefty, led the league in strikeouts. You Darvish has gotten so much hype. Bouncer to short. And Jung is retired. And Darvish, we both thought, looked pretty sharp the other night against China. Oh my, he was nice. He was so smooth. I mean, he's 6'5", and just that motion and the explosive fastball and the control. I mean, that's what I have been told. I'd seen him in clips. I hadn't seen him in person. I just love that tightness for a big body that he is and being able to pinpoint 
at this part, you know, I don't care what, you know, the, the hype and the excitement of this level of play right now, it's still early in the spring. And to have that good a control is fantastic. And you know what? For all the talk about you, Darvish, the guy that won the Sawamura Award, that's the Japanese Cy Young. Oh, yeah. We haven't even seen him yet. His <laughs> Sashi Iwakuma. <laughs> And he is scheduled to start in Japan's next game, which, as it stands right now, it looks like it'll be Monday. And they would play Monday against the winner of what right now would be South Korea and China. And Iwakuma plays for the expansion team. This came about about three years ago. The Rock 10 Golden Eagles. Send out a hello to one of their front office guys, good friend of mine, Marty Kierner, who's vacationing for a minute in Maui, Hawaii. But uh, this guy went 21 and four, and and, and only about 28 starts, because they don't even get 30. Sure, four. The guy was ridiculous. So Team Japan. Thumping South Korea 13 to 2. And again, there is a mercy rule in effect in World Baseball Classic play. That one lined at Murata. And there's two down. If at the end of seven, one team is up by 10. He did. He started 28 games. <laughs> and he was and he got 25 decisions 21 and 4 that's sick pitch inside to tycoon Kim who has a two run homer that was way back in the first and it looked like we were going to have ourselves quite a game because Japan came up with three in the top of the first. Kim came right back with a mammoth two run homer made it three two and we were kind of starting over but Japan right back with five in the second and they've added on a single run in the fourth two in the fifth two in the sixth and here we are 13 to two and again if a team is up by 10 at the end of seven complete or 15 at the end of five complete then it is over. <laughs> this one was a no doubter. Look where this thing lands. Yeah, there's a 3-0 pitch, fastball. Dice is just trying to get it, get out there in there. He's thinking maybe the big kid's going to take a 3-0 pitch. He didn't take. Fly ball to right. Ichiro under it. South Korea goes one, two, three. We'll go to the seventh. the Tokyo Dome out there in the bleachers and Japanese fans delighted with what's taking place Team Japan leading South Korea 13 to 2 as we go to inning number seven two three four Nakajima Aoki and Murata I'm not sure what's going on right here I think they're going to make a defensive switch. Yeah, indeed, they will. Young Q Lee. I think Kim's coming out. Young Q Lee is going to go into the game and take over in right field for Jin Young, or yeah, for Jin Young Lee, who will come in to play first, and Tai Kyung Kim will sit. A little tardy there, but decided to rest your uh, your big gun, your fourth batter, in uh, what is considered an open game here, 13 to two. Might as well go ahead and send him down a little bit, keeping the changes on my scorecard. 
as Young Q Lee checked into the game. I crossed out Lee in right field and then and had to write in Lee. Lee. I hope you did that carefully, though. Nakajima. They count one and one. They've got the wave going here at the Tokyo Dome. Did they do the wave when you played? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was the, the you know the heyday of the, of the wave, late 80s, 90s. I remember back in the heyday of the wave. Every stadium and every team like sporting event was that were you know they were all doing it. They got a good one going right now. I mean, there's some there's some synergy going, and it's a good stadium for it because yeah. it's the, so the bulk of the bottom row is is kind of one level. That's right. That's right. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. To right center field. This will be extra bases. Nakajima with his third hit of the game. Top three guys in the order have just been <laughs> unreal. They really have. I mean, here's a fastball out of the plate. Nakajima just has a beautiful swing from the right side. You know, usually when you see a really pretty swing, it's is from the left side, you know? But he's got a very, very nice swing. Kind of a little bit of that Edgar Martinez swing. Very compact. Yeah, it looks like he's barely swinging. Yeah, it's beautiful. In the dirt. Oh, nice stop by Kang. And again, as it stands right now, all Japan would have to do in the bottom of the seventh would be to get three outs and the game is over because of the 10 run rule. And with that comes airline tickets to the beautiful San Diego. That is correct. For Team Japan. You had a tone in your voice there that was a little yeah, that was like Monty was, Hall, yes. like you were doing the, the game was, show. Was, Team was. Japan, you <laughs> have won a trip to San Diego. Well, they, they decided to take what's behind door number 51. And while in San Diego, you'll stay at the beautiful Omni Hotel. <laughs> That's ball four, actually, yeah. Or strike three that gets was away. It? Oh no, excuse me, that's what I meant. Yeah, strike three. And he got the base, yep. So Aoki reaches, runners at the corners. Strike three and a wild pitch. Yep. And now a great hand for Shuichi Murata. Two out of three. A 13 to 2 Japan lead on South Korea. And they sing their song for Shuichi Murata. This one popped up a mile high. And gloved by the catcher, one down. Michihiro Ogasawara, the DH, 0 for 4. Japan comfortably ahead. Everybody was asking what's going on with the Japanese offense after a lackluster 4 0 win over China in game one, four runs on five hits. Well, Japan unloading in the first two innings for eight runs 
And tonight, Team Japan 13 runs on 14 hits. They were saving it, Boog. They knew what they were doing. They only needed four runs to beat China because they got such a good pitching staff. They saved it. So, I tell you, that Team Japan is so smart. South Korea looks like they will hook up with China in an elimination game tomorrow. Loser go home, and then the winner of that one will play Japan. And that'll be on Monday. And even though that seems like a meaningless game, a couple of things there. Number one, that one will get to determining seeding. As a run scores on the ground ball, Aoki, or I beg your pardon, Nakajima comes in to score. And uh, hopefully we'll pan back off of this so you can see that that, that, that pop up that Murata hit, which was uh, right in front of home plate, was quite a towering pop up. Catcher really did a nice job, no problem. Well, you see that speaker in the middle of the dome. It's in the smack in the highest point of the dome. Well, a buddy of mine that played with the Contento Buffaloes, Ralph Bryant, is the only person ever, and I think will be the only person ever in the history of the Tokyo Dome to actually hit that on a fly. They, had, they ended up giving him a home run. And our boy Brad Lefton was there. And this was, I was on the road, boom. I was on the road, and the two teams from Tokyo were playing, and I saw it in the highlights that night, and I, knowing the stadium, I was just dumbfounded that he was able to hit that thing. It had to be, if he wouldn't have hit it, a 550-foot blast, something sick like that. It would have gone over the back of the screen. Shinosuke Abe. And Abe, the pinch hitter, fouls one off. And they count one and two. Yeah, when you saw the highlight, you probably thought, wow, did that really happen? Yeah, no. I, well, yes and no, because Ralph Ryan was a, he actually got up to the big leagues for a minute with the Dodgers, but Roller to third. He had some pop. Let's put it that way. Well, that's the inning. 14 to 2. Japan leads. Fans soaking it up inside the Tokyo Dome. All Japan leading South Korea 14 to 2. John Shambi arrests the strata. And the new pitcher here, the left-hander. Minoru Iwata. So the southpaw takes over. Fourth pitcher used by Team Japan in this one. And again, 10 run rule in effect. Team Japan up by a dozen. Minoru Iwata, one of the, I believe, three lefties that Team Japan is carrying. And we saw Sugiuchi, which uh, to me is. Their premier left-hander, uh, Watas Nice, uh, pitches the Hanshin Tigers. He's you know type of guy not overpowering, gets the job done. Well, again, he falls in line with the, the makeup of their roster. Thirteen pitchers for Team Japan. Ten of them are starters, including this guy. Yeah, and it's interesting he's mentioned that because there's only one Chiba Lotte Marine pitcher player on Team Japan. We saw him earlier. He came in. Uh, in relief of Daisuke, and that would be Shunsuke Watanabe, really, really talented uh, submariner. Well, Bobby Valentine, the veteran manager of Major Leagues and, and great success here with the Marines, you know, was, was one of his problems with, with, with this thing, at least for his side, his team, his deal with Team Japan, is that the last time they did the same thing with Shunsuke Watanabe. They used him in relief. He's a starter. So here he is, you know, using up a lot of the springtime and not being used as a starter. 
during getting work in March. And I think it's a valid argument for something that we kind of don't see. Let's say, for example, Team USA won't do that too dramatically. They'll go, you know, set up guys a set up guy. Closers a closer, starters a starter. Got a quick peek, new third baseman, Muninori Kawasaki, and Murata shifts over to first, replacing Uchikawa. Daiho lead reaches, and then a pinch runner. And that'll be Jung Choi. Bot stepped off there for a second, and he got. Got messed up. So Iwata starting stopping and the runner moves up to second on the ball. Chinese Taipei has already been eliminated from Pool A, so the World Baseball Classic. 16 teams, 39 games over 19 days. We're down to 15 teams. Loser of this one looks like it'll be South Korea. We'll take on China tomorrow in an elimination game. And Japan with a win here, guaranteed to move on to round two in San Diego. Sien Su Chu, the lefty. The left handed hitter at the plate. 0 for 2. Indians a little worried about this guy. Got some tendonitis in that left elbow. He had Tommy John surgery a couple of years ago on that left elbow. It's curious. You're seeing more and more position players yeah. have Tommy John surgery. Well, a, a lot of times before, years, years ago, they really didn't know the diagnosis as well for an everyday I mean, player. So now they have so much better diagnostic machinery and technology that they can find out. And you want to hit some and to a board. I'll tell you right now that his pitching coach, and there he is, and his manager, there he is, comfortable with the lead. Not happy with Iwata Sun's performance. He's come in and just been all over the place. He needs to kind of reel himself back in, focus himself, and make things simple right now. Just go for the simple things. Try to find the plate. Tagun Lee up at the plate. Line drive caught. They can't turn anything besides the out there. That was hit on the button by Tagun Lee. See, just got to simplify things. <laughs> that was a bullet. Hit a laser beam <laughs> at somebody, and you'll get an out. That's a simple part of baseball. Nice job by the. I don't know if it was a nice job by the umpire to get out of the way. I think he just was lucky it didn't hit him. See, Iwamura is styling. He's got the Japanese flag on his socks. Darling, I told you already. It's better to look good. Fly ball left field. Aoki has it. And South Korea down to their final out. You know, we're going to talk a lot about the offense, and rightfully so. 14 hits, 14 runs. Uh, and that second inning with that, when they put the five spot. But really, Daisuke gathering himself up after that shaky 29 pitch rough first inning was the key. Coming back and getting a goose egg, a zero off of that five that they put up, I think really kind of dictated the rest of the game. If they close it out right here, Matsuzaka, Watanabe, Sugiuchi, and Iwawa, and Iwata will combine for six shutout, one hit innings to finish the game, to emphasize your point.
Yum Ho Lee at the plate. And a pop up out of play. And it is 0 and 1. And before we uh, get this potential, potential final out, don't think that the 56,000 strong here don't realize what's at stake here. They know that a victory here propels them to San Diego and, and, and uh, obviously an opportunity at defending the title. Big swing and a miss. South Korea down to their final strike. So it's not just the rivalry between South Korea and Japan, but the knowledgeable baseball fans, and I compare them to the soccer crazy fans of France and England. Got them looking. That's the ball game. Japan wins it 14 to 2, and Ichiro Suzuki, Daisuke Matsuzaka, and Team Japan, they're moving on. Guaranteed a spot in round two in San Diego. Well, Japan struggled offensively in their first game, not in this one. They unloaded 14 runs on 14 hits. This was a complete win, oh, for Team Japan. It really was, and, I, and it was nice to, to see their very talented hitters come out and really relax their shoulders like their hitting coach had told me that he had told them to do. Relax your shoulders, you guys are good hitters, and it came about throw in a very powerful Murata, mix in a very talented dice game. Matuzaka got out of the first inning jitters, and you got uh, a pretty nice stew there of a lot of runs and a lot of great pitches. It was a 3-2 game at the end of one in the second. Japan tacked on two more. The at bat of the game, Shuichi Murata. Ten pitches, and it ended with this. A three-run homer, and Japan opened up an 8-2 lead, and then the pitching took over. Daisuke Matsuzaka very sharp after giving up the two-run homer. He really was. Uh, kind of ended up throwing a lot of backup sliders. He just looked good. There are the standings. Japan moving on. Korea and China will play tomorrow in an elimination game. Chinese Taipei eliminated earlier today. Now the 2009 World Baseball Classic will continue. Pool D matchup. The Netherlands and the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico and Panama. Then Pool C, the U.S. and Canada. Italy and Venezuela. Check your local listings. Great atmosphere and a great matchup inside the Tokyo Dome, but it turned out to be a blowout for Ichiro Suzuki at three hits and Team Japan. Our final here, Japan 14, South Korea 2 for Arrestus Destrada. I'm John Shambi saying so long from the Tokyo Dome. Japan is moving on to round two in San Diego. The preceding has been a special presentation of the World Baseball Classic.